the stand-up comic you're about to meet, started his career on a dare. It was a dare worth taking. From comedy clubs to TV and film, Eddie Griffin's been entertaining the masses for years. And starting Monday, you can see him do his thing on stage at the SLS Las Vegas. And little did I know he's been living in our midst for like eight years now. Eight years? Yeah. Eddie, yes. Eddie, Eddie Griffin, Vegas resident. Yes, on, yes. Buddy? Uh, right How are on. you, man? Yes, here. Good to have you. You're Good to be here. With a residency. Yes, I'm a res mm -hmm. with a residency. Uh, Formerly uh, somewhere else that now at the SLS. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Sayers Club, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday night, 8 p.m. showtime. I'm telling you, if you ever want to get a six pack and make sure you write for the summer, I'm handing out six packs nightly. Yeah. Wow. You will laugh until you just got bop, ripped. <laughs> I'm telling you. I've drunk a few six packs in my day. What, what's your go to beer? Uh, what not brand really are we talking a about? beer drinker. Right. I stopped drinking beer back in uh, the uh, late 80s. You know, we mm -hmm. used to get a 40 mm -hmm. ounce. Yeah, we oh, remember yeah. being that broke where it took six of us to oh. save up for a dollar 25 <laughs> and get a, a 40 ounce. So my go to drink now, I say, is champagne mixed with a shot of Patron. Wow. Ooh, okay. Yes. Like it's called that. an Eddie Griffin. Most bartenders know how to make it. Check it out. Yes. Nice. <laughs> Yes, you, you, I like you've it. been doing the comedy circuit for years now. Obviously, you're at a higher echelon now, so it's not you're not schlepping it around the country. Right. However, right. back in the schlepping it days, yes. having to go to one place after another, different sensibilities in every part of the country, playing Vegas must be just like playing all of those places at once. Uh, Vegas is like playing the entire world. It's yeah. My audience, you know, mm. they're from Australia, they're from Europe, they're from uh, Eastern Europe, they're from the Middle East. So, so, so you're playing, you got a microcosm of the world sitting in your audience. Yeah. So it really hones your material into being a, a material that, you know, I could leave here and go play Australia without blinking. Yeah. You know, that's the beauty. That's what I love about it. And plus, things. your brand is so strong that people know what they're getting when no, they're walking most in. Most definitely, yeah. yeah. You walk in the door, you know what you're getting. Uh, yes. Let's talk about that. What yes. are people getting? I mean, people people uh, know you. They've been following you for years, you mm -hmm. know, whether it be on, on TV. Uh, you've done some great, great films. Well, what are you going to be uh, doing up on stage here at the SLS? Well, the SLS, they're going to get a, a plethora of impersonations. Uh, they're going to get uh, the butt naked truth. They're going to Ooh. get uh, uh, sociology classes. They're going to get uh, political commentary, which right now, I mean, oh. there's just so much free material. I yep. mean, you know, this what is that? really like a renaissance of comedy. Right yes, now. it is. This is the only wow. White House where I've seen people jump ship like it's the Titanic. Yeah, you know I mean, I've never seen this before in the history of politics in this country called the United States of America. Where the First Amendment is first. That's why it's first. They're f <laughs> and you're using it. It's you're, true. Here's the deal. If we respond in My any way, goodness. shape, or form, I know. We're like said, Sean and I are like. You got 57 emails. You're yeah. terrible. You're a leftist. You're right. But you it. can say you it. You can say whatever you want. <laughs> I wish I had. I wish I was in your position. It is comedy's yeah. job to speak some sense to power. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm. I think the problem that mm. we're having right now with the, 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 the polarization. The Democrats over here, the left and the right, and everybody. I mean, it's it's so entrenched. It's it's warfare, basically. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, and everybody's putting party before country. Mm -hmm. And I think it's it's every comedian's job to, to make these politicians remember that they're human and just laugh. You're taking yourself too damn serious. Yep. You know what I mean? Yep. You're supposed to be there for four years tops, do a gig for us, and then get the hell out the way. Have you ever seen politicians mm. laugh though? They're very. It's very evil. Yeah, it's very evil laugh. You know what I mean? It's, it's really sad. We're, we're, you know what? They need to come to your show. What yes, they they, you they, know what? I've seen a couple of them. Yeah. Yes. yes. Laughter is great medicine. It's yeah. like, yeah, let's just all take a step back and not take this all so come seriously. On, Can't we? We all got to go to the bathroom, and I'm going to tell, tell you, nobody leaves life alive. <laughs> we love bathroom humor. Some We're all for that. From Eddie Griffin. <laughs> hey, dude, thank you so much. It's great having you. We're looking forward to this. Man. Yes, indeed. Hey, great wait. to have you, man. Yeah. All right. Eddie Griffin's new stand-up comedy residency, The Eddie Griffin Experience, kicks off this Monday, 8 p.m. at the Sayers Club inside SLS Las Vegas. Shows run weekly, Monday through Wednesday, with various showtimes booked through November. Oh, November. He's, I'm he, saying. I'm telling you, it's going down every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday night, 8 p.m. Look out. <laughs> Log on to SLSLasVegas.com to purchase <laughs> tickets. You must be 21 or over to attend. He's checking the IDs at the door. All right.